Before we start our walkthrough of the proposed scheme, let me introduce myself. I am Mark Williams of BHB Architects and will act as your guide. Our walk from the park to the cathedral starts by crossing a new bridge over Lemonsley Brook. Once over the bridge, signage and tourist information opportunities will form a strong component of the newly created link between park and cathedral. The aspiration being that this link will enable the creation of a wider circular walking tour of the city. On leaving Beacon Park and on the left hand side, the scheme proposes a series of three detached parkside cottages. And to the right, Talbot House, which provides 13 spacious apartments overlooking the park and beyond. Beyond Talbot House is a landscape courtyard across which you were afforded a grand vista of Darwin House beneath the spires of Litchfield Cathedral. To the left of the courtyard stands the proposed coach house. On the right, the block that consists of Linnet House and the proposed spa hotel creates six apartments, 12 guest suites, pool, spa facilities, and provides access to a basement parking area via car lifts. Access to the car lifts is set behind brick archways seen here to the right. The coach house provides undercroft parking for residents of the converted Angel Croft, as well as four additional apartments at first floor. To the rear is a landscape courtyard. Darwin House which sits at the head of our newly created courtyard, is one of the city's existing heritage assets that our proposals seek to better reveal, for all to understand and enjoy. A new hotel offering spa facilities will reinforce the status of the city as a visitor destination, offering a level of luxury currently not available. By delivering a hotel as part of the scheme proposals, the intent is to address the need identified in the city's neighbourhood plan and master plan. In order for a building of this scale to sit comfortably within a traditional streetscape, the hotel has been articulated in such a manner so as to appear as three separate buildings. A link between the park and cathedral creates the opportunity to greatly reveal the significance of both the cathedral and the cathedral close, and for more people, both tourists and residents, to appreciate the frontage of the cathedral as it was intended. Too often, people's first experience of our city's most important landmark is the back approached from Dam Street. By linking the park to cathedral, there is truly the opportunity to interconnect with existing routes and create a walking circuit of Litchfield, a route which will both market the city as well as increase visitors' dwell time. Well, now we've walked from the park to the cathedral, I hope you'll appreciate the potential benefits of this pedestrian link. We will now walk back to the scheme proposals and take a more detailed look. Westgate House on the left and Westgate Cottage in the centre are both listed buildings whose futures will now be safeguarded by the scheme proposals. Westgate House is to be converted into apartments, while Westgate Cottage will be linked to and will form part of the proposed spa hotel, connected via a glazed link. Before we cross back over Beacon Street, we will first walk further up the road before turning back on ourselves to understand how the scheme will be viewed when heading towards the city. We will now do the same, but this time heading away from the city on Beacon Street. The raised highway table you can see in front of you, at the gates of the park, is one of a series of such features, which in conjunction with proposed pavement widening and the introduction of a 20 mile per hour speed limit is aimed to enhance the pedestrian experience of this quarter of the city. As you progress at Beacon Street, the design intent is that the proposals will sit seamlessly within the streetscape. 
Where the development can be seen from Beacon Street, as here, the design response we feel is appropriate and sympathetic to the immediate character of the site. By utilising a shared surface, the scheme omits the need for a traditional kerb, thus enhancing accessibility for the disabled, elderly and those with pushchairs. The proposals include highway improvement works to Beacon Street, including the widening of pavements and the introduction of a series of raised highway tables, including one at the junction with the close. The aim being to improve a pedestrian's experience of Beacon Street and strengthen the pedestrian connectivity between the park and the cathedral. We believe if Erasmus was with us today, he would be pleased with the outlook from Darwin House. We will now take one last look down the proposed link towards the park. It is our intent that the proposals will capture the character of Litchfield and will present a unique new streetscape to complement the city. An inclusive and accessible streetscape laid out as a pedestrian priority route with planting, materiality, street furniture and signage used to complement and segregate vehicular movements on the journey. A journey which will tell a story about the history and culture of Litchfield, prompting residents and visitors alike to engage with and enjoy our city. Finally, as we return back to Beacon Park where we started, I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for your time today. I hope you have found this brief tour of our proposals helpful.